We would like to thank the National Space Society for the opportunity to partake in this competition and share our report here at the ISDC. Our team is ecstatic to share our work on human settlements, specifically orbiting Mars, a compelling international goal discussed by scientists and futurists for many, many years. The Revolution, our innovative space settlement, harnesses Mars' potential to create a sustainable living environment. Here, we efficiently use resources like water and energy, mastering advanced technologies like glass production, ion exchange, and air purification. Our Martian colony fosters humanity's growth, pushing the boundaries of exploration and scientific discovery. As we explore efficient transportation, magnetic trains offer a smooth and frictionless option, using superconducting magnets to levitate above a guideway. Alternatively, magnetic technology can create a safe and reliable transport. We must understand superconductors like YBCO require extreme cooling temperatures for zero electrical resistance. The Revolution's transportation system features a train with the outer shell of magnets using ionic thrusters and a robotic bus system for safe passenger movement. This innovative yet futuristic approach addresses the need for effective transit between stations. High temperature superconductors like YBCO can generate artificial gravity in space habitats. Picture a toroidal space colony using massive superconductors systems to rotate magnets and simulate gravity. High permeability metals, like Mu metals, protect living quarters from magnetic interferences. Laminating superconductor cores reduces eddy currents. The RPM designed to replicate Earth's gravity is low, but sufficient. Our torus has three layers, ozone, livable space, and superconductors for artificial gravity. The total legroom is 60 pi kilometers squared, and the volume of the ozone, livable, and superconductor layers are 840 pi kilometers cubed, 210 pi kilometers cubed, and 72 pi kilometers cubed, respectfully. A total area of approximately 188 kilometers squared will be a population of 95,000. The density is about 504 people per square kilometer. To predict population growth, we consider the average fertility rate and the birth to death ratio. In five generations, the population could reach 583,864 people. Using the harmonic mean, we calculate the inbreeding and variance effective sizes as 34,000 and 31,000. According to Franklin's 5500 rule, population below these thresholds face risks, risks of extinction. Recommendations for conservation depend on our understanding of effective population sizes, like in the case of the European Aider. The ozone layer, located 20 to 30 kilometers above Earth's surface, protects life from harmful UV radiation. It's composed of ozone molecules that absorb ultraviolet, UV, ultraviolet light and break down into oxygen. In a space colony orbiting Mars, the ozone layer would be essential for shielding inhabitants from increased UV radiation, reducing the risks of skin cancer and cardiacs. Ozone forms through a natural cycle of photochemical reactions involving UV radiation and oxygen molecules. The process takes about 10 to 15 days, and in our design, we've included a 10 kilometer thick layer for optimal protection. Leonardo da Vinci, a renowned polymath, astutely remarked that water is the driving force of all nature. In the Revolution Space Colony, water and air management are critical for ensuring a sustainable and healthy environment. With limited resources, every drop of water and breath of air must be conserved and maintained to the highest quality. Air pollution management is vital for preserving the health and safety of the colony's inhabitants. In a closed environment, breathable air must be maintained scrupulously. One effective method involves HEPA filters, which use fine mesh to trap particles as small as 0.3 microns. However, the expense and need for frequent replacement must be considered. These filters will be installed in specific areas for improved effectiveness. Additionally, scrubbing techniques such as chemical, biological, and mechanical scrubbing are employed to remove pollutants that cannot be effectively filtered. Scrubbing processes involve passing contaminated gas through an inlet, reaching a liquid solution in a packed bed, absorbing or chemically reacting with the pollutants, and ensuring clean gas output. The mist eliminator and liquid reservoir are designed to help remove solution from the gas and to replace this solution. To supply water resources, we rely on the Asteroid Mining Separation Robot, the AMSR, which extracts water from the asteroid belt. Water purification, essential for maintaining a healthy living environment, employs the ion exchange process, which removes impurities, conserves water, and supports reuse. Ion exchange systems, equipped with cation and anion exchanges, as well as a degasser, use resin beads to remove unwanted ions from water.
ensuring purity and resource conservation. The arrows show how the water would flow through the system and release clean, demineralized water. The innovative design ensures resilience against extreme thermal and radiation environments prevalent in space. The Revolution's modular architecture consists of multiple compact fusion reactors working in parallel, similar to that of a parallel circuit, resulting in enhanced energy conversion, efficiency, and scalability. Each reactor within the Revolution harnesses the deuterium-tritium fusion reaction, which produces a substantial amount of energy per reaction, approximately 15 trillion joules. To initiate fusion, the plasma fuel mixture comprising deuterium and tritium ions must reach temperatures in the millions of degrees Celsius. A series of sophisticated heating systems are employed including ohmic heating to create an in initial seed population of ions and electrons, neutral beam injection for further heating via ionization and energy release, and radio frequency heating u utilizing electromagnetic waves to energize ions and electrons within the plasma. Effective heat management is crucial for maintaining reactor integrity and controlling plasma temperature. The revolution incorporates the advanced tokamak magnetic confinement system, which employs a complex combination of toroidal and poloidal magnetic fields to confine plasma within a toroidal chamber, thus safeguarding the reactor vessel from potential damage. Efficient cooling systems play a vital role in preserving reactor components and maintaining plasma temperature. High thermal conductivity coolants such as liquid helium and liquid lithium are utilized to transfer heat to secondary coolants like water. This heat exchange process converts the kinetic energy of high energy particles including neutrons and alpha particles produced during the fusion reactions into heat. Subsequently, this heat is harnessed for power generation through turbines. The revolution's cutting-edge design and engineering result in an, in an energy generation capacity of approximately 95 quadrillion joules per reactor, ensuring a reliable, high-performance energy source for advanced space systems operating in the vast expanse of space. By employing, by employing state-of-the-art technologies and adhering to the highest professional standards, the revolution sets a new benchmark for future space endeavors, optimizing functionality and maximizing efficiency while minimizing the risks to the system and its surrounding environment. Quantum communication offers unprecedented security, leveraging quantum entanglements and measurement device independent quantum key distribution, MDIQKD, for secure data transfer without interception or manipulation risks. Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon when two particles become correlated even when separated by large dis distances. In a space settlement, entangled particles could securely transmit information over long distances without tampering or inter interception risks. Quantum key distribution, QKD, utilizes quantum entanglement to generate a shared key between two parties, such as uh, Elizabeth and Beckham, by measuring entangled particles properties. They create a key known only to them. Elizabeth and Beckham use a public channel to exchange classical information like measurement results or error correction data. This channel can be any communication medium transmitting classical information. They also use a quantum channel to transmit quantum information like photon polarization states. This channel must be secure and preserve transmitted information, delicate quantum states. Once they generate a shared key using QKD, they can encrypt and decrypt messages. Encryption involves applying a mathematical function to plain text messages using the shared key. The ciphertext can only be decrypted using the same shared key. The key itself is not transmitted over the communication channel, ensuring its security. MDIQKD is a more secure QKD variant against certain attacks. MDIQKD involves a third party, Charlie, in the key gen generation process. Charlie generates entangled particles and sends them to Elizabeth and Beckham via the quantum channel. By involving a third party, MDIQKD is less vulnerable to attacks exploiting weaknesses in the measurement device use, used to measure entangled particle properties. To conclude, we extend our deepest gratitude to our esteemed teacher, Ms. Mate, whose words of wisdom a week before the submission deadline, quote, no school, no sleep, no food, had galvanized our determination and transformed us from a team on the verge of not submitting to proud winners. We also express our heartfelt thanks to the NSS for granting us the incredible opportunity to participate in the ISDC 2023. This journey has been a testament to the power of perseverance, dedication, and the support of those who believe in us. As we stand before you today, we are reminded that the impossible can become possible when we dare to dream, innovate, and work tirelessly towards a brighter future.